This is BBC News. I'm Jane Hill. The headlines at five. All frontline NHS staff in England will have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 by next spring, unless they are medically exempt. We must avoid preventable harm and protect patients in the NHS, protect colleagues in the NHS and, of course, protect the NHS itself. There are more questions about MPs' standards. As it emerges, the former Attorney General Geoffrey Cox earned hundreds of thousands of pounds a year working for an international law firm. The mother of 10-year-old Jack Liss, who was killed by a dog in South Wales, pays tribute to her beautiful and sweet son. Tensions grow as people camp at Belarus's border with Poland, hoping to gain access to the EU. The European Commission accuses Belarus's authoritarian leader of luring migrants as part of an inhuman gangster-style approach. The British government has urged all UK nationals in Ethiopia to leave the country amid fears the conflict there is worsening. And the England striker Marcus Rashford collects his MBE for his campaign against food poverty. He dedicates it to his mum. Hello, good evening, welcome to BBC News. The Health Secretary has announced that all frontline NHS staff in England will have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 by next April, unless they're medically exempt or don't have face-to-face -face contact with patients. Sajid Javid said more than 100,000 NHS workers in England are currently unvaccinated. Health unions say people should be encouraged rather than forced to have the jabs. Here's our health correspondent, Catherine de Costa.